I want to talk about a disease condition that is uh, of public health concern this period. I want, want to talk about is known as cholera. I want to talk about cholera. We've been hearing about cholera. So I want to know what cholera is all about. What will they talk we say cholera na sickness where they where they happen when germs or you body call a microorganism enter our body that germs name or you both say na fibro fibro cholera when that germs enter our body if they enter through our mouth not anywhere not through blood but through our mouth that is to say if they enter through the water where would they drink and through the food where would they put into our mouth and when he enter when he reach the stomach if they release some kind of chemical that chemical they grab our intestine it just they like say you wash too well where water plenty and when you they squeeze that so well so if they squeeze our intestine and they release the whole water where they our body and where the water they from come out with a cooler that is with a punch and a vomit that make that sickness they very dangerous it is one of the most dangerous illness you go the punch you go the vomit before you know you don't get dehydrated the whole water where they your body don't come out that make that this disease is is of a public health concern before you go say make you wrong go hospital if God not uh, this thing, the person don't die. So we say this sickness, not be sickness, so they carry the plague. So as we don't talk, we talk say this sickness is they enter our body through water and through the food where we they eat. And the signs and symptoms now vomiting, stooling, and very severe dehydration. So how we go take manage this sickness so we they talk? This sickness will be saying we go to shit and we go to vomit. How we go take manage and for house before we go to the hospital. This sickness they cure and for house. But if you feel manage and for house, they go to the hospital. How we go take two? The severe dehydration and the little one person they shit, they vomit. Uh, plenty of water they come off from the body and plenty uh, chemicals and where God put for the body, we're supposed to stay in our body. We don't call them electrolytes. Those things too, they come out from our body. So he could say, as the person they vomit, the person they stool, that's water, water sheet. And how we go take no say na cholera because we have other diseases where they cause purge. This uh, purge or water, water sheet where this uh, cholera patient they sheet, it we they call a nice water stool. It be it means say. You know, when you want to cook your rice, many of us will parboil our rice. So when you parboil the rice, you can't steam them, they wash them. That water will come out, that white water, and I saw that sheet the day. So we call it rice water stew. So when this rice water stew don't come, and the uh, vomit is drinking, we talk say, no joke with that. Manager of a house. How you go take manager of a house before you go to hospital? We say, make you give the person, replace that water where the person is lost. For meeting and cooling. How you go take the place and you go replace and with person with the call oral rehydration solution. Oral rehydration solution are just big grammar where say you go bring you go, go for a chemist, buy sachet of oral drip, call them oral drip, mix them with one ta- uh, one uh, liter of water or one thousand ml. How you go take measure and since you don't get measuring thing for your house, you go this um uh, water, whether they call pure water, two or feet. Now you go carry pour for bowl where they clean or for bottle where they clean, then you pour down one sachet of pure water, uh, two sachet of pure water, ninety thousand ml. If you don't get a uh, uh, and the thing happen for night, you get salt for your house, you get sugar for your house. Take this 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 spoon of uh this spoon where and baby, they carry it. Take a measure sugar. Measure two. Thank you. Take a measure uh, salt. 
a uh, measure sugar first as you may you pour the water the two uh, sachets of pure water as you pour them inside clean bowl where it's cover then you use a teaspoon measure sugar six teaspoon six teaspoon of sugar you know go heap them you no know, go heap the teaspoon as you bring out the square spoon from the salt granulated sugar granulated sugar level lamp carry knife level lamp six times pour inside the water then you take salt one level lamp to then half lamp that is half teaspoon of salt and six uh, teaspoon of sugar mix them together they give the person in sleep no give them one cup say drink drink with fear no give them in sleep if you get strong put the water for cup too strong make the person they sleep if you no get use the cover of the bottle give the person one small small like five or six after three minutes again you give again then they rush the person they go hospital this sickness where would they talk how would they take prevent and this cholera no mind the way they talk this cholera small small if person get cholera since i stand here the person don't get dehydrated with vomiting and the stooling so how would they take prevent this cholera one is to ensure that the water we would drink they very clean very pure if you feed if you got fit and for them buy bottle water if you know fit the water where you get and you feel say that water no they clean boil that water allow the water to cool and they drink the water if not for the whole house as you boil the water no pour the hot water inside the rubber bucket allow the water to cool for the kettle where you take boil them or the pot where you take boil them you go cold first before you pour them inside the bucket to get cover then every of the household go feed they take that water from there they drink if you get this bucket we get tap better for us if you no get make them use a common cup no be everybody go take one cup they dish for that bucket no we no want that uh, communion type so we don't talk say boil your water well then proper sanitation and anytime you go toilet as you go toilet come out please endeavor to wash your hand with soap and running water no be water where there for basin because water where there for basin when you give jams there for your hand as you pour a wash that hand that water go there there before you know there are children who go take that same water where jams there inside uh wash and so we say wash your hands with running water if you no get tap for your house make somebody they pour the water for you then you carry wash your hands then another one is our food safety some of us know they conscious of waiting with the eat for our mouth this period of make cholera don't talk we say i beg no eat for outside if you can no eat for outside if for any reason you must eat outside let the food be very hot if not don't eat for outside say no to cold food ice cream that madam bring them the uh, two don't call or bring them. no 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 we don't want it we say don't eat outside whether of or bonso madigal no 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 don't eat it because before you know people where they arrange just things you don't know how they are no not for this time or not for this period just this period people where they people where they sell down madiga you don't know how it is some of them don't go toilet and no water around them to wash hand and they go use that hand and uh, knock the madiga for you bang 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 Well, you know you don't the shop you don't shop cholera go your house we say for this period no eat food for outside if you must eat let it be a uh, for a uh, hot food then we they talk of uh, personal hygiene personal hygiene very important we don't talk and say wash your hands and beg wash your hands the place where you they are where, where they are around you i beg make it keep and clean uh, your toilet we 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 they discourage what we they call open defecation we we they call them short put you go pull for waterproof you go fly, trunk bah this thing will go land for another person fence fly go and go uh, uh, touch that uh, pool come come touch our food where would they eat we say no to open defecation then we they talk again say um we get vaccines we get vaccine immunization injection against this cholera you can visit any health facility the health facility go tell you whether they get that cholera immunization and then go give us then another way to pre- prevent them now this thing where you hear now go tell them to others 
As you hear and like this, if now your community people, if now your street people, if now your young people, tell them, he gets the sickness where they now, where would they call cholera? In essence, all what we've been saying, we say, um, we say cholera and how to prevent it. We say one, drink bottled water or water that has been treated. That treated way with the talk is to boil that water. Then we say food should be cooked properly. Like when you don't go buy meat for market or fish, who can wear any meat where you, any food where you go chop raw like vegetable, cabbage, and all the rest? Use salt or vinegar. Wash and wear before eating. If you want to eat your fruit, make person no peel them for you. Peel your fruit by yourself this period. Peel your fruit by yourself. You won't buy orange. Carry the orange grass, wash and peel them by yourself. That is what we want. We don't want somebody to peel for you. And we say this period, some people will say, I like to eat mango with the kanda. I like to eat cucumber with the kanda. It's good, though, but this period, don't. Don't eat any fruit with their peels. Peel out the peels and they eat. Then we are talking of, okay, individuals should peel their own food by themselves. Uh, the wearing of uh, raw food, ice cream, all the raw food and all the cold food, please, we they say, don't eat. And we say, wash your hands thoroughly. So in conclusion, we say, cholera can be deadly. Cholera, it is very severe. But deadly is where they cause death. We say, carry out all these things the way we talk. By the grace of God, none of us will get this deadly illness. Thank you and God bless us.